Hi everyone, welcome back to another Mixed Media Monday. Um, I've got a quick little project I want to do today. Um, I want to do some blending with these oxides. Um, then I've got this um, little stencil here. Um, if I put it on to there, you can just see that it's a seahorse. Um, and then I've got the negative um, bit there. Um, and what I want to do is um, try the technique of blending. Then I'm going to spritz some water on it. But I want to put the stencil on, spritz the water so that it's... Um, creates an effect around it so um, that's my idea for today um, hopefully it's going to work um, so yeah let's get to playing so I hope you're all doing well um, I think I'm going to start with the speckled egg I hope you've been um, enjoying your summertime all right let's just I'm not going in any particular pattern I don't mind if it's not smooth or a bit lumpy because I want it to look like it's um, nice and organic so um, I have got foam so we've got speckled egg mermaid lagoon and prized um, ribbon Um, literally just wanting to build up um, the different layers of the colours um, a bit like the sea obviously because we've got the seahorse um, that we're going to use now, this is going to be a bit dark so go quite lightly and just um, blend I like that coming in here. So I'm just using kind of like circular motions um, for the most part for it. Okay, let's go back in with the um, Mermaid Lagoon. These colours are really lovely colours. Just building up some layers. And then I'm just going to spritz it with water. Okay, I think we'll come back in with a bit of speckled egg. Hopefully um, we can get that going in the corners here to give a nice underwater colour. I've these, yeah, I am still in camera. These are the only colours that I've um, I've got are the, are the blues. So I just go in with what I've got. Right, that's building up a nice layer on there now. I think a little bit more speckled egg here. So it's kind of like all blended in. Okay, I like that. So, then up out the way. We move this. I've still got me um, mat here. Now, I think I'm going to lay the seahorse on here and do um, the spritzing off um, this way round rather than doing it like this um, to start with. So I've got my water spray, I've got my tissue to blot it. Um, being the oxides, it should react quite nicely. So I'm just going to give it a spritz. They say to leave it a few moments to allow um, the water to react and then you can dab dab it off I think we might do a, um, a few more dab it off 
Hmm, I wonder if we can do a few more droplets in. Oops. I've not done this technique like this before. So let's dab them off. Mm. Maybe it's my spray, it's not. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is take my seahorse off if I can, if I can get it off, there we go, and dry it and see what we've got. As I say, this is me very, very much experimenting, I honestly don't know if we're going to get anything on this. I'm just going to dry that a bit. Looks like I need to clean my seahorse. Now I am using um, watercolour card, so it's going to take a lot of water um, better. To be honest, I don't know if it's actually worked. I can't see the seahorse on it at all. Mm. I was hoping for a much better result. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is all about experimenting these messy Mondays, um, and we really are playing today. It's just uh, obviously I'm doing some ocean themed journals and I'm just addicted to these blue colours at the moment and creating things so uh, yeah it hasn't really worked hmm okay I wonder why it hasn't worked because you've got um, spots maybe this I mean this is only just a cheap little sprayer bottle I've got a pack from um, Amazon. Um, maybe I need to use my bigger spray. Okay, I'm just going to um, clean off the seahorse. It's got some of the oxide on it. There we go. Just make sure it's dry. Dry that side. Try that side. These little stencils are like they were years and years ago. Um, they came in the back of a decorating book with um, stencils for your home, um, but they're so thin plastic and I don't really use them. But I just thought I would um, give it a go and have a little play. Now, um, I'm actually going to try this again, but I'm going to, oh, this might be better. Look, that's got more, um, more of a jet coming out of it. Let's just mop up my, my mess. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that again. Yeah. This is a much better bottle. As I said, this I think I showed that in a previous one. It's just an old um, cleaning bottle. Um, right, I'm going to take the seahorse off, give it a dry, and see what we've got this time round. See if we've got a bit more of an impression of the seahorse. See if this has worked. 
If not, I will um, just use it as a background for something. Um, and then we'll try again and we'll go with the other one, the this bit, the actual stencil, because didn't they call that bit the negative? Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't really worked. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, just dab that up. Move these to the side. Well, move that one to the side. Um, and let's grab another bit of card and we'll do some blending again on another piece of card here. And we'll try the other version. I'll just make sure I'm all still, yeah, still filming. Okay, so we, what did we do? We did some speckled egg first, didn't we? Just... Like that. Uh, mermaid Lagoon. Um, and then some prized ribbon. Oops. Okay, so we'll start blending with a little bit more care for the prized ribbon now. on here. Oh, okay. okay. And then let's see if we can bring it all together with some more speckled egg. Come up the prized ribbon a little bit darker, just on this bit here. <sighs> yeah, still keep. I must be bits coming off my sponges. Oh, they're fairly new these colours to me, and so are the sponges, but. I just seem to chew them up, something terrible. Okay, I quite, yeah, I think I'm liking that. Okay, so, where are we? We're going to, let's move this out of the way. We're going to try the opposite way this time round. Hmm, I'm going to be a cup, um, creating a bit of a... Okay, um, what 
have we what have we got that I could just put along that edge there I'll just use a scrap of paper there we go right um I think I'm going to use this this time because it's just it's all in this area that I want like so and then I want to start dabbing away and seeing if we can uh, I think I need a new tissue let's try this Now before I lift it, I'm just going to give it a quick dry in here. I'm going to be careful because obviously the um, the plastic, there we go, it's lifted itself up. So, let, oh, sorry, there we go. Let's see if we've got more of an impression of the seahorse doing it this way. Well, there is a bit more of an impression. Definitely more of an impression. Um, but it's still not 100%, is it? Let's just flatten out my card. Yeah, look, see, so it's still... Hmm, let me clean this. Oh, I've stuck to the mat. Clean this side too. And see if we can position it back kind of where it was. That was like that, wasn't it? I had that there. Shall we? Yeah, we'll go again, I think. And see if we can get a much better relief off of it. There is definitely an outline there, most definitely. So it's worked better than that other way. But I liked how um, the other one, I, cre I was able to create spots with the droplets on here that you can't see the seahorse on there at all. So I think what I'm going to do now is put this one into that shadow and then do the droplets. And just leave that for a few moments. I'm just going to grab a bit of kitchen towel because that absorbs better. Um, the uh, those okay so what we got well that's created a much better much better spots around it mm. Actually, so I think that's that's good enough. Actually, I'm just going to dry this. What I'm tempted to do is um, see if I could perhaps. I'm not very good at drawing, though. Draw around the seahorse. 
I don't know. It's not worked as good as I th had hoped it would work. Maybe it's because it's not um, a thick enough stencil. I think, yeah, it's uh, got a bit of an outline more there than what you have on that one. Oh, it could possibly a faint head ever so there. But, okay, okay. Let's perhaps try um, not using my um, seahorse and my stencils. Um, let's just pop them up to the side. Um, let's see what other stencils I have that are actual stencils. Um, I've got a rose and I've got the cogs. Yeah, I I'm very, don't have very many stencils at all. Hmm. Okay, well, this was obviously an experiment that um, I'm not, it hasn't quite worked how I wanted it to do. Um, but still, these are nice, back, nice enough backgrounds that we could do something with. Um, so, yeah, perhaps if I can get some more stencils um, in time, then I can have a better go and a better practice um, with them. Um, but anyway, this is all about me experimenting and playing and I mean everyone so far I have loved apart from this one that hasn't quite worked for my liking. Um, but that's the way it goes. That's all of what um, crafting is all about experimenting and stuff. So yeah, maybe if you have, you guys that are watching this have tried this before, this technique. Um, leave me some comments below and some tips. That would be great. Um, and I'll be back um, next Monday with another play, play date with my um, inks and oxides. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.